Hello, I am Jan from Prague, the Czech Republic, and in this video we are going to test the Canon PowerShot Golf, a pocket-sized laser rangefinder with a built-in camera. As the name suggests, it's mainly designed for precise distance measurement on the golf course. But you can also play around with it on other occasions, like when you need to measure something on a nature walk or to take a photo of somebody at a long distance. In this video, I'll show you how it all works, how to operate the parachute golf, and then we'll explore what to expect from the photos and video. And right off the start, I have to admit that I am not a golfer, so please do not expect a sophisticated assessment of this rangefinder from a player's point of view. But I have tried all the power shots created over the years, and they've always been pretty interesting pieces, including the voice-controlled camera. So I just decided to test this one as well. So here we go. Here is the rangefinder and it's actually very easy and intuitive to operate it. You just hit the shutter button, you press it halfway, and here is the measurement on the field. And uh, you can see that we are at a distance of 85 meters. Uh, well, this is what you can get. You can set the rangefinder in order that it would be saving the photos with the numbers. Uh, I have to say, uh, this is a computer simulation. I just created that focusing frame in Photoshop. So you can see how it will look in your viewfinder, but these are not real numbers. So please do not get confused too much because now they would be distorted. White-ish number means the real distance. The function slope, the slope mode is something which would immediately be clear to any golfers, but for us, non-golfers, it might be uh, worth mentioning how it works. Basically, it tells you that now you are measuring uh, something which is above you slightly. So if I am pointing up, the slope function would be higher than the real measurements and vice versa. So and here are some more examples of how will it work in real life. You just basically walk through fields and measure what you want to measure. These are real shots. These are the photos I have taken and the camera saved the numbers in it. So that is the key basic function of Barbershot Golf. If we now just turn our attention to the basic functions, basic operations mode, it's again very easy. You can see the key function here is that you either turn on or turn off the laser. It means you ask the thing to measure distances or not. If you press halfway the shutter button, the thing starts to measure distances. And this is another angle and uh, you can see another two buttons, zoom, which is intuitive, of course, and the red thing, obviously, allows you to start recording video. And one more point, if you need to recharge the rangefinder, you can just plug in a very standard USB-C cable. And uh, if you want to record all these things, it means either video or photos, you need to get a micro SD card. Now let me show you some examples of photos. We've already seen that uh, once you zoom to digital zoom, it gives you this warning. It shows the number two, implying that you zoom to digital zoom. And uh, yes, of course, there's nothing much to study here. You basically walk through the golf course, you can document it, you can take details, you can take notes, and you can take shots either without the numbers, or as you have seen before, you can set through the menu the system in order to get uh, the recorded numbers shown on the photos. But as I mentioned, I'm not a golfer and I just <laughs> wanted to test it properly. So I took it to a nature walk in a beautiful Slovak paradise. And uh, again, it's quite impressive what I've seen here because, um, well, this uh, would be six or seven and a half meters. But as you can see here, the Power Shot was able to measure these trees up to 681 meters, which I think is really impressive. Uh, by the way, what I did not mention is that we are able to measure either in meters or we are able to turn it into yards. I'm here uh, using meters, so but do not get confused. You can easily switch it into yards. And I think this is quite an interesting example that, uh, of course, the primary aim would be to use this uh, on golf course. But if you just forget uh, to take it off your back, it can be really, really inspiring just to see 
around and uh, well take some shots of trees in distance or just for uh, the sake of your entertainment to, to measure how far these slopes would be and uh, of course the basic function would be as we can see here just to be able to measure whatever you want to measure primarily on golf courses and again let me to remind you that we've got that lovely function the slope mode which gives the golfer the option to have much more precise information which club to use and let's see some examples of video i've already shown you a couple of examples uh, the video can be recorded up to one minute then it turns off automatically here we have a single example when i am scanning that field with the camera and measuring and recording what i have seen i believe this is quite interesting example because the main idea behind the functionality of uh, this power shot golf is to give you a chance to document carefully the golf course and well make notes of every single distance you need so as i mentioned you can either record video or you can just take shots without uh, these recorded numbers and let me show you now some non-golf examples i took the rangefinder to a famous fair in slovak city of spiska nova Ves, and there was a lot of musicians there was a lot of history club members and it was quite tempting to test it on these performers for instance because they are as you can see from the angle in a very very long distance and i was just able to make these shots and get them closer of course the quality of the shots is not as good as you would get from a proper camera but again this is 410 millimeters and uh, i was quite impressed well just to remind you the number two means that i left uh, the optical zoom and I got to 12 times digital zoom and of course the quality goes down then but again sometimes it might make sense to use it and some more example of these brave guys from a history club and usage of uh, the zoom in a non-golf situation so again i can really imagine that sometimes you would be taking that rangefinder to some non-golf situations because it can be useful if you have just a mobile phone in your pocket i can guarantee that you'll really be happy if you are able for instance to take these shots of animals in nature or even zoom to 12 time digital magnification and one more example when i was really quite happy i can use publish a goal for non-golf photos and i can guarantee that once you have this you'll be doing the same so thank you so much for your attention i do hope that you will have a great golf game or just a nice shots take care i am jan from prague the czech republic